OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. All right, so welcome to this training on ThingLink. So ThingLink is, I'm gonna show you in a, min a minute, it's an image, an image tagging program, so you can actually tag and embed activities inside an image, which is really good for ESL students. So in this workshop, we are going to learn how to log on to ThingLink. We're going to explore a sample ThingLink. We will create a ThingLink with an image, Google Form, Google Doc, and Quizlet stack, which I have already prepared for you. And we will explore the 360 image library. It also has a lot of 360 images. Um, it is free. The, if you want to pay for it, you can get student management so that students can actually make their own thing links. But um, for you as a teacher, it's free. <laughs> However, I just want you to know I've made Google Docs and Google Forms and Quizlets. I won't be teaching you how to do that today. That would be another whole workshop. But I will, you will be able to embed them into a Quizlet. So with that, let me tell you just a little bit about me. I am a retired professor of ESL from Santa Ana College, and I have loved using technology since before some of you were born, probably. <laughs> um, and I have always tried to integrate with my students, and I have been very successful at that. And now I'm helping teachers learn how to integrate as well. So if you're interested in my PowerPoint, I am going to put it in the chat box for you. Um, it's a very easy one. It is bit that it's right on the bottom underneath my picture, bit.ly, but I'm going to put it here. Uh, thing power. Susan, I got it for you. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Okay. So this is what a thing link looks like. And um, these numbers here, this is an image that I downloaded. And these numbers here indicate that there's an activity. So let's go to there. And let's take a look at this one. So here it is. Uh, this is on my ThingLink account. So I have, if I click, and I use numbers because the students, it's really easy for them to follow numbers. Um, they have a bunch of other tags that you can use, but for low beginning ESL, they know to click on number one. So that works. So on number one here and make sure there's no audio on here, but there is music. So let me make sure that I have enabled your sound. Where is that link for the sound? Um, Susan, in the more options more. of okay, the Zoom thank tools. You. Thank mm -hmm. you. Sure. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to let you see this. It's a very short video. It's the basis of the lesson for the students. And I have put a lot of thought into this lesson before I created the thing link. And that's why um, you're going to, it does require that you think what you want the students to get out of the lesson. This is a, I, I figured that bike safety was good since we're in COVID. A lot of people have taken to riding their bikes as for exercise. So I thought one on bike safety would be fun. Here we go.
So that is the video. Let me go back to the thing link. So the students would do number one, and then number two would be a, a form where they list three things they saw in the video. So for ESL students, I mean, even ABE or high school students, you know, they could watch the video, they could talk about three things they saw. And then they would, so let's just say I saw break, helmet, and bike. And then you hit submit, and that goes to me. <laughs> And so that would be the, the activity. Number three, I'm going to show you how to do all this. I'm just showing you how it works to so get the whole picture. And then we're going to go into the detail of how to do this. And number three, I have a Quizlet stack with the vocabulary. And um, they can choose their own study mode. Match is the most fun. But um, so here they just have to find air pump. No, that's not an air pump. OK, let's try this one. Uh, objects on the roadway, bike lights right here. Bike light, that's a brake. I should know better. There we go. Brakes, air pump, keep distance from cars, fluorescent. Ta da! And um, they, can, they can write down their time here. It took them only 23.5 seconds. Generally, students can do better than that. But um, so that's number one. Number two, that was number three, the Quizlet stack. Number four, this is a reading that I made so that they can do a little, it's just a PDF where all this vocabulary is here about biking. And then number five is a form where they answer questions about the reading as a reflection form. So that's uh, the lesson that I have created to show you what ThingLink can do. So, um, what we're going to start out with is we're going to recreate this lesson with all the different pieces which I've assembled for you to put in. So the first thing we're going to want you to do, and I'm going to go really slow here, is you're going to go to thinglink.com and get, get an account. Now, how many of you already have a ThingLink account? Anybody? So thinglink.com. And you will see this screen when you log on. Let me know when you see the screen. You can give me a reaction like a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you need me to go slower. Are you on the screen, everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have some choices on how to log on. What you want to do, though, is right here, it's asking you for your if you're already a member, which you are not. So you have to go here, not registered, sign up for free. And it's kind of under here. You have to see that. Does, does everybody see that screen okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And you can use any of these. If you have a Microsoft account, you can sign in with that. You just have to click the Microsoft button. If you have a Google account, you can sign in with Google. I always sign in with my Google account because I don't have to remember another password. I don't know what Clever is, but it's you can sign in with Clever. Um, Facebook, you can sign in with Facebook. Twitter, and you can also sign in with your Twitter. So that's the easy way. So let me know with a thumbs up or a yes in the chat button when you are logged in and have an account. Oh, I don't know if I'm doing this. Who is that? And I will help you. If anyone needs help, they're more than welcome to unmute. And, and ask for help. And ask. That's right. We're here to help. But just let me know when you actually get your account so that we can um, move on. I missed on how where to go to start to set up the account. Okay, right down here. Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, right down at the bottom where it says sign up for free. Okay, I can click, click on, that. on that. Yeah, and then you should have a choice of using. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Because I don't have that option because I have an account. Right. But it's not, I, I'm trying, how do I get to that page? Because it's not clickable on your page. No, just go to thinglink.com. Thing, oh, okay. That's, that's in the chat box. 
Right. Oh, sure it Lauren's is. Thank in. You. Great. Yeah, singlink.com, and then you will find that there. So, Susan, Marin has a question. Is the 360 yeah. library the same as the 360 videos curated from OTAN? No, the 360 videos are these beautifully developed 360 videos that ThingLink has got given for you guys to use for free. I didn't know that OTAN curated 360 videos. Maria's in, very good. Melinda, do you know anything about that? I think she's talking about the 360 app. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, these the are different actually, website. This is actually a 360 video. You'll see it when we once we get you can actually play around like it's no, not learn 360. No, 360 is just it's video, it's photos, 360 photos. I don't think it's videos, I think it's photos. It could be videos. Okay, so get people are getting in which is good. So far, Marin's in and Maria's in. Anybody else getting in? Let us know. Chris says, I think I'm in. <laughs> Do you see this, this, this page that I have here where it says upgrade account? Long is in, good, good. Okay, yes, you're in then, Chris. All right. So once you get in, um, I just want to show you, you don't need to upgrade your account unless you want to get your students to make their own thing links. Um, then you would need to upgrade an account. But even if you have to do that, guess how much money it costs? $40 a year. It's, it's very affordable. So if you really want your students to do it, you can um, pay the $40 a year. It used to be $200 and they fixed it. They fixed it so that people can actually upgrade it. Um, if somebody is asking you to join as a team member, there would be an invite code. So they, that would be the code they would use. And you should all see this. It should be in the top right corner next to your picture. There's a help center if you need help. There's a search box if you want to search for images. You can filter your images by type, and we'll go over that in a minute. There are different kinds of grid types that you can see. And you can also create folders. And I'll show you how I've used that account. So I'm going to go to my ThingLink account now and show you how I use folders. Here's my ThingLink account. Now, yours won't look like this because you have nothing in your account. This is because I have a lot of stuff. And so I have made folders. I have my own personal learning. I have uh, resumes. I have some uh, my digital resumes in there. You can do resumes with um, embedded content. I have travel fun where I've actually traveled and taken 360 photos and, and tagged them. There's a couple of things there. Um, I have my intermediate class, ABE, and an ABE class that I've taught. So these are uh, Mount Rushmore and global warming. And I have my low beginning class that I've done this where wearing masks, staying safe, the interior of a car and a school tour of Santa Ana College. So um, that is my content. You probably have nothing in there. This is all the stuff that I have done. I have used this a lot. Okay, and then um, this 360 library, Marin, this is where the 360 photos are. These are all free for you to use and you're able to tag them. And they, they don't show up very well here because they're assuming that you're using those um, 360 goggles, the Google Cardboard goggles. So I'm not, that's not the content for today. So I'm not going into that, but just so you can have an idea of what we have there. Okay, so we're gonna start creating content, but don't do anything yet. When you go to, um, let me show you. When you're in your account, and you want to create something, you click over here. Does everybody see that button on their screen? Create. And then you get this. Now, what's really wonderful about this is there are videos for each of these to show you what it means. And we're not going to watch the video, but if you click on image, 
and continue. Oh, last time I got a video. This time I didn't get a video. Let me try. Um, let me try one that I haven't done. I got a video. They have these videos. Yeah. The first time you click on it, it will actually give you a video and show you how to use it. So I, I don't want to click on this because I do want to watch that later. But um, when you do that, you'll see a video. We're not going to need to do that right now. But for your future, you can see a video of all these different things that you can make on ThingLink for free. All right, so what we're going to do now, and this has to go into the chat box. I have prepared some pictures for you, some content for you, because we are going to recreate the bicycle safety thing link that I showed you earlier. So if everybody could have two screens, one with their thing link open and one with the Google Doc open. So you want to let me see if I can share my screen to show you what I want you to do. So here's my thing link. And I'm going to make this smaller. And then here's my Google Doc. And I'm going to put that over here. So then I have both the thing link program and the Google Doc open. And I have here for you. Uh, three different images that you might want to use. Is everybody finding this document okay? It's saying I need access. Really? Yes, but maybe it's because I'm in the wrong Google account. No, maybe not. It should. I'm going to change it. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I'll just make you all editors because you're okay. Try it now. Does it work now? Yep, I'm in. Okay, good. How about everybody else? Okay, so there are, you don't have to use the one that the image that I used is this one down here, the six simple bike safety reminders for your family. You don't have to use that one. You can use this one or this one. It's up to you. So pick an image. And the way you want to do this is if you can't like right click on it and, and save it to your desktop. You have to save it to keep first. So if you click on save to keep, then you can right click on it and save the image to your desktop, which is what you want to do right now. And call it whatever you want, but I, I really think you should try to save it on your desktop or otherwise you're going to have trouble finding it. So here you can give it a name and you can save it right to your desktop. I'm on a Mac, of course. So let me know how you're doing. And I see you're still answering the questions. What questions are you answering for registration? So let me know with either OK or a thumbs up or a yes when you're saving a picture on your desktop, or if you have any problems getting to this document. Good. Thank you. Maria saved, Marin saved. We'll see until I'll wait for a few more people to give me the go ahead. Okay, Evelyn saved. Good. Okay, so Sherry, um, what you have to do is you click on the image you want, right click, and save to keep. And then you can, you'll see it, it turns up over here. And then you can save image as. And when you get there, you have a choice of where you want to save it. This is a Mac, of course, if you're on a PC, it looks slightly different. But same idea. Um, you want to save it, right, Melinda, on a PC? It's desktop. Are you on a PC, Melinda? I use a Mac. <laughs> oh, OK. Well, well I don't think should to... do it. Yeah. It should work on a PC, and then you can give it a name. So on mine, um, I did do save to keep, but I don't have keep on my computer. So I went back, and yes, I did. Do. 
Well, I do. It's, but it's on the cloud, right? Yes, it's but on. You, yeah, you exactly. figured it out, right? So I went back and I just um, right clicked and I did like a save image. Evelyn, the reason I do that is because Somewhere. on my document, it won't let me save directly from the doc. It makes me go to keep. Hmm. But maybe it doesn't do that to you. No, maybe it did make me save it to keep and then I saved it to the computer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So how are we doing? Anna, trying to add this up. Can, Anna, can you talk to us about what you're trying to do? Yes, I'm still on let's create the best experience for you. Tell us a bit more so we can help you. It says, so I got my name, I got the school name, but then it says subject and it gives me math, science, foreign language. And there's one on the bottom that it won't let me see it. Okay, it we'll pick one of them. It doesn't on matter which subject. Just pick whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so I guess just see, but I click on science and it doesn't bring it up. So I just, should I just press continue then? Yeah. Okay. And long, there is no invite code. You're getting, you're using your account to, um, you're making your own thing link account. So you go to create. There is no invite code. You should have your own. Did you get an account? Okay. All right. So everybody, the picture is okay. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the create button in ThingLink. So everybody go back to ThingLink and click on the create button. And we're going to add, click image. And when you do that, you hit continue. You're probably going to get the video because you haven't done it before. Just skip the video because I am your video. So see, here's the video, but just you want to be here. And does everybody see the upload button? I'll wait, just say yes or no. That's fine long that you use the Google account. Okay, then you're gonna click upload. Let me know if I'm going too fast. And you're gonna upload. It's gonna show you your desktop. Now my desktop is really messy, I'm sorry. As you can see, I've been working hard on ThingLink getting all these screenshots, <laughs> um, but here's my bike. So I'm going to find the picture and I'm going to open it. So Susan, uh -huh. are we in image under create? Is that what we're under? Yeah. So you're okay. going to create image. Okay. Thank you. And then continue. And then don't play the video. Correct. And then click on upload, upload files, find your picture, open. And then when you're done, you hit continue again. Oh, I don't want a folder. Oh, it's making me make a folder. This is a new thing. Okay, this is for a thing, link, demo. So here's my picture. The new, I, they used to have where you could make your own folders when you wanted to, but now it's forcing you into making a folder because it's good to have your work organized. Okay, so let me know when you have your picture into ThingLink and I'll start to show you what to do next. This is critical, so I wanna make sure everybody's got the picture here. Sorry, so then I'm on upload files now and then where do I go after that? Just pick a picture? The picture that you, you, you saved on your hard drive about the bicycle. Oh, I didn't go that, I had, was not able to do that because I was still stuck on answering the questions. <laughs> okay, we'll do that first. So do you know what where where to get this document? No. Okay, it is in the chat, but let's find it and re-put it in the chat. This is it. There you go. Click on that link and it should take you to this document. And then there should be three pictures there. One's a simple bike picture. One is the save. Sorry, save that to my desktop. Desktop. Okay, thank you. And then you're going to go to ThingLink and go to create. It's helpful if you have the tabs like open like this, so you can go back and forth. Yeah, that's how I have. <laughs> but I'm answering phones too, so that's why. Okay. And then create image. Continue, upload. 
upload, find the file. But for me, it's called bike. I open it and I hit continue and I have it. And if it says make a folder, just say thing link demo. Okay, everybody doing okay? Give me everybody, give me a feedback. Some of you are, I, I don't know what you're doing. So I like to have feedback. It's really hard to do this without actually being in front of you. Okay, good. Okay, feedback's coming. Good. All right, so we're going to start with our first. Now we open the picture and here we have um, nothing except these all these buttons up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit. This is if you want to change your privacy settings. We won't worry about that. This is if you want to rename it from bike to something else. This is if you want to move it to a folder. You don't have to worry about this. This shows you how many people have landed on your image. Um, this is if you want to clone it. Clone it means to duplicate it. Um, if you think it's bad, uh, they don't want any um, X-rated images. So if you find one, you can report it. Um, you can replace the background and you can download your finished copy. So that's that. We're going to edit right now. So everybody click on the pencil for edit. Are we there? You see these three things, add tag settings and done. Yes, that is Marin. And you can also see like one of my thing links has like million, a, a thousand, a thousand five hundred people have viewed it. So um, yeah, it's nice to know that. So um, we're going to start with this add tag. So everybody click on that. Now, you have these different choices, but I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint for a second because I have this set up to explain everything for you. You don't just listen in for a second. Present, here we go. Oh, didn't go to the slide I wanted. Okay. All right, so you can do a lot of different kinds of tags. Um, the first one that says text and media, that just allows you to add text and link media. Now, there is a difference between the word link and embed. Link requires a student's click on it. If you embed something, it's there in front of their face. They don't have to click on anything. So I don't often use this because I like to embed everything. This will create a simple text label. Maybe you are doing like the inside of a car and you just want the students to see the names of the, of the instruments in the car. You could use text label for that. This is where we're going to focus a lot of our attention on today is adding content from a website because this allows you to embed like the Quizlet little match activity that I did and the Google form that I did and the reading that I did. I embedded all that into the image. And so we're going to be doing a lot of that. And this last one, I'm not going to be able to show you in this workshop because it's it's a lot, but you can actually create a virtual tour. And I did this for my students who were uh, low beginners because they come to school and they don't know what school is like. And so I made a virtual tour for them. So you can watch the video on that. And it's pretty cool, actually. But we're not able to do that today. Sorry. Only so much you can do. All right. So going back to my to the thing link right here, we have these these tabs right here. And do you remember the one that I said we're going to use is add content from website? OK. Let me cancel this for a second. So we're going to click on add tag. Everybody's done that. And we're going to go to add content from website. Now, before we put in our content, we're going to look at the icons. Here are all the different icons you can use. I always use numbers just because it makes it easy. Like you can tell the students put a camera there and that they should know it's a photo. But for me, nobody can ever follow. I always have a process that I want my students to go through where they start the lesson, they finish the lesson. And that's a process that has an order. If you have something that doesn't require an order, like you're just having them take a tour of a museum and you have different paintings and they can go wherever, you can use different um, tags. But for this particular lesson, we're going to use the one, two, three, four, five tags. So if you click on number one, for example, 
Then you can choose your color, which is nice. So you can choose any color. So go ahead and click on number one and pick a color. Has everybody, have you done that? You guys let me know. Okay, good, I'll go back. Thank you. So you click here on add tag and you scroll down to add content from website. And here change icon. And then, I mean, you can pick anything you want. You don't have to pick one. You can pick A if you want. And then you have different colors that you can choose from. So let me know how we're doing. Everybody there? Good, Evelyn. I'm still trying to get my picture uploaded. <laughs> oh, OK. Um, did you want me to go over that again? Um, it's like I'm half, halfway there. It's like I, I can upload pictures to PowerPoint and Google Slides. So it's like, I don't know why this is so complicated. Here, let me just show you one more time. So you go here, go back. I have to go back one more screen. Oh, I have to go out of here. That's what I have to do. All right, so you go to create. Yeah, got image, that. Image. Got that? Yeah. Continue. OK. Upload. Okay. And then you have to click here on upload again. All right. All right. So continue. Okay. And then it takes you to your hard drive, right? Yeah. Continue. And then hit click and drag. Uh, and then I open here. All right. Uh, and then the really key, this is really important. So it's good that everybody's reviewing the steps. You have to click the continue button again after you upload in order for it to work. And then it's gonna ask you for a folder. Just keep hitting, every time you see continue, you have to hit continue. And then you'll see it right here and you just click on it. And then we're going to hit the edit button. And then we click add tag. I'm probably going too fast, but add content from website. And then here we can change our tag. So it's if you look here, okay, one more time. So you see it shows this tag right here. That's the tag that's originally there, but I don't want to use that tag. So I click on add tag from content and here I can change my icon to go to number one. And then I have my color choice. Now we're ready to embed something into our picture. So if everybody can please go to the Google Doc, And um, you will see this bicycle safety video with this very, very ugly looking code. This is the code that you wanna take. You don't wanna take the part that has the, the dash. You don't wanna take this. You wanna take it from here, all the way down to there. Let me know when you have done that. Oh, Mary and I, I number so the students know where to click. Number one is the first thing they click. Number two is the second thing they click. Because my low beginning ESL lessons have a process that the students go from. However, you could do a tour of a museum and have different artwork up there and it wouldn't matter what the order was. Then you could use anything you want. It's just my personal experience that I found the students don't do so well on their own if they're not numbered. Okay, so you just take this all the way down to the end don't get the Google form, just the safety video. And you're going to copy, edit, copy this. And then we're going to go over here where it says embed code and we're going to paste. Ta -da. Let me know when you've done that.
Long has done it, good. Gotta put everybody up here so I can see what we're doing. Good, Denise is done. Christina's done. Some of you might be lurking, that's okay. I'll wait for one or more people. Okay, Maria's done. All right, I think we're good. So you can see the videos here and we have to click the done button now. So click done and here's your number one and you can put it anywhere you want. And when you click on it, it's gonna bring up the video which you can just hit play. So that's how we, so now you have embedded a video into your picture. So we're gonna, and the second thing on the, we're gonna embed is the Google form where they watch the video and then they talk about three things they saw in the, um, in the video. So we're gonna add another tag. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to the same one, add content from website. And we're gonna go back to the Google doc. And here I have the embed code for you for the Google form. So please copy that and go back to your thing link and paste that in and tell me if it's working because um, I've made all these for you because for you to make all this stuff and learn thing link was too much. So um, I've made all the forms and stuff just so you can have the experience and then the idea would be to change it on your own. Now here's the icon, I have to change that to number two. And you can, I like to use different colors. I think colors are good. So here's my number two and I can put that anywhere I want. So now you have embedded a video and you have embedded a form, correct? Now, the third thing we're going to embed is a reading that I'm, a reading I made. So again, we're gonna add the tag. We should be able to go a little faster now. Add the content, it's gonna be number three. I'll make this one white. And I'm gonna go over here to the, uh, the Google Doc reading and copy the embed code. and paste it in. And here's my reading. Click done, move the number three somewhere. So I think I'll put the number two on his head and the number three on his head. So how are we doing everybody's? Uh, yeah, I'll show you on what everybody Every app has a way to embed. It's usually in your share settings. I'll show you how to do it, but um, that's not the, you know, I will show you. <laughs> I think we'll have time for that. So, okay. So let's do number four, which is going to be the um, writing assessment. Google form writing and assessment. It's actually a reflection form. So let's go down. Let's get the content. Number four, I'm going to do blue, which is going to be tough because there's a lot of blue on that. Okay, copy the code for the Google writing. And there we go, done. Four, we'll put over here. Oh, that's good, stop. All right, and then we are ready for one more tag. We have, okay, I, I didn't show you this, Actually, this bike, bike safety quiz is from Illinois and they um, allowed us, they have it in English and Spanish. So I put that as bonus and let me show you where I put that on my original because I forgot to show you this. So my bonus material is down over here where the star is. It's right. the bike safety quiz. And this is the Spanish one. But the only problem with it is is it's about bike safety in Illinois. And I asked the guy when he gave it to me, because he gave me permission to use it, if I could change it to California. And he said it cost $500. So I said, nope, we'll just keep it Illinois. 
it's got most of the same things. There are just a couple of different rules in Illinois that is not in California. So if anybody's out there from Illinois, it's great. It'll work for you. Um, okay, so we have, did everybody get all five embed codes in there into your document? Okay. So there's one more thing to look at, and this is your settings outside your, so these are, these tags are for each item in your, in your graphic. The settings do the overall graphic, the whole thing. So you have different choices in the settings here. Um, you can customize your tag, like you can have different kinds of tags here looking differently. So you can customize the background. If you know your numbers, your hex code numbers, you can change it to almost anything. Um, you can disable, you see how this um, number two is getting big and it like bounces around. That's your animation. And you're able to, if you think that's gonna, for some students who have learning disabilities, that might be, um, hard for them to see that kind of animation. So you're able to disable it, just so you know. Um, and you can hide the thing link logo, which shows up somewhere. I usually have it. See there, thing link. I always hide that because I don't want people to see that necessarily. So you can hide that. Um, so when you're, and then there's more, hold on. So now if you wanted to have some relaxing music while the students work on this assignment, you can upload any audio you want. I don't usually do that because I find that sometimes the music annoys people. But um, if you found something relaxing, you could put audio so while the students are working on the image, they can hear the music. Any questions so far? I'm looking at the chat box. I'm looking at the pictures. I don't see anybody with questions. Yes, Evelyn, you can add your voice. You would have to record yourself and then upload it to ThingLink. And I have done that before, where you can actually tell the students what you want them to do. And they could, but they'll hear it over and over again. That's the only thing. Um, you can also upload your voice into um, the, this. You can add content from the website. OK, so let me show you how you get embed codes. Would that be the next thing you'd like to do, everybody? Is is learn how to get those embed codes that we were been embedding. Okay, so let me show you, I'll go to Google, for example. Let me, um, Get out of here. Okay, so here I have, let's say, any presentation. Okay. And for this, in Google, you want to make sure you hit this question. It says publish to the web. For any Google Doc, Google Form, Google Sheet, you want to publish it to the web. And here, you can tell it, okay, so when you embed something, you're not gonna be able to control the presentation. It's automatically, the presentation automatically goes. So you have to decide how many seconds you want for the slides for the students, depends on what you want. Um, and then here, this is a link. You don't want the link. What you want is the embed code. So you click on this and then you hit publish. And it says, are you sure you want to publish? You say, yes, I want to publish. And this is your code right here. You see that? The same looking code that you had for uh, ThingLink. Sherry, you have to record your voice separately and then upload it. There's no record button on ThingLink. Everything is uploaded. So that's how you do it on Google Slides, Google Sheets, and um, Let's look at forms because I think forms might be just a little different. So let me grab one of my forms. So I think on forms you hit the send button. Yeah. And here, whenever you see that, those kinds of little like carrots, that means it's an embed code. This is your email, this is your link, and this is your embed code. So you go there and you just copy the whole thing. 
And then you can put that into your thing link. Um, yeah, you want me to show for the Marin? Do you want me to show you slides or? Okay, yes. Okay, let me go back. So here's my slide. I click on the share. No, so sorry. I go file, save to the web, publish to the web, file, publish to the web. Then you click on embed. Then you hit publish. And it says, are you sure you want to publish the selection? OK. And then you can get your embed code. Um, you know, Elisa, I don't know if um, you're going to get a recording of this. If you don't, um, it, all the instructions I have are in the PowerPoint, except for this embed stuff, because I will put that in there, though. So if you get the PowerPoint tomorrow, um, it'll have the embed stuff for you. I'll add that in. Um, OK, so somebody else, else asked, oh, how about a Google Doc? OK, Google Doc is the same exact way. Go to Google Docs. Oh. I'm just going to drive and then I'll find a doc. Mm. Here we go. This is the doc I embedded. So here's my doc. I go here, file, publish to the web. Oops, publish to the web. Again, click on embed and copy the code. So for Google Docs, here, I'm going to put that in the chat box for you guys. Google Docs. Google form, Google um, presentation. When you embed, you don't have to worry about the share settings. It embeds. When you embed it, you've published it to the web, you have given up your share settings. So um, everybody can use, all they need to do is it'll automatically show up because you've published it to the web, but that's a good question. And in the share settings, you can say anyone, this is a link though, it has nothing to do with the embed code. When you embed a document into ThingLink, there is no editing ability. It's always a view. So that's um, all the Google tools. And then forms is a little different with forms, remember? You are going to click right here. Here's my form. For forms, you click the send button. And then the carrots here give you the embed code. Google Sheets. Yes, it's the same. Let's see. Do I have any Google Sheets? I'm not as good at Google Sheets as I am at other things, but I think I do have something. Here we go. Here is, let's see something that's worthwhile. All right, let's do this. So here's my Google Sheet. I'm going to go File, Publish to the Web. Sorry, you're going to hear my dog. There's nothing I can do about that. We have all learned that kind of stuff during the pandemic. Click on the embed code and it gives you a choice. Do you want what do you want to what do you want to embed? Because I have various different things down here. So we'll call it the uh, manipulatives, I guess. So you have to choose because on sheets you can have different links, tabs, and then you click publish. You click OK, and here's your embed code. Sites. Oh, Mary, <laughs> I don't know if you can embed Google. Let's see. Probably you can do it the same way. Let's see. 
Here is my student, my student portfolio. Let's check it out. It has a publish. Yeah, I don't know if you can do it with Google Sites. What do you, are you trying to embed something in the site? No, I think she wants to embed a Google site into the thing link. Oh, no. 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 But you can embed the link thing link to into it. Google so Yeah, you have to link to it, which we can do. Yeah, you, she's just asking me all the questions. <laughs> I would not never necessarily do a Google sheet in there either, unless I was a math teacher. So, yeah, so that's how you do the embeds. So Microsoft Word products, it depends on whether Microsoft Word products depends on whether you have SharePoint or not. And that's tricky. Um, the way I would do it is I would bring it into Google Docs because um, I don't know um, Microsoft Word products are if, tricky. So yeah, but you actually, I want to show you something about ThingLink that I forgot to show you, which is really cool. It's got the Microsoft Immersive Reader in there. So let me go over here. So let me do this. I'm going to add a new tag in here. I'm going to add text and media. And here I'm going to change the icon to hmm, the star. And I'll pick, I have green, red, I'll do yellow. And here I'm going to put in by safety. Now I can upload an audio here I want. If I want, I can upload an image. This is really cool because you can upload an image within an image. So if I click on this, um, I'll just pick anything. I'll put this image inside. There's the image. And then I can have some text description. Make sure you wear bright clothes. And then I'm going to click on the done button. And here's my star. And now you can have, see right over here, there's a little microphone with the immersive reader. It will read whatever's here for the students. So here we go. Make sure you wear bright clothes. So that's kind of cool, right? Even though it's computer speech, it's not real speech. So you can actually, um, whatever you put in the, when you use this is, let me show you what this is. Again, I'll go through this again. So I hit the edit button and I add tag, but I went to text and media, not embed. And then I found, I found my icon. You can put any icon you want in there. I added a title and I'll call this one. Um, I just do the same thing. And then I put whatever I wanted to say in the description. Let me get the image first. Bike. Let's try a different image. Yeah, we'll put this one in there this time. I'll say. Um, And I can make the URL work. So it actually right here. And there, I'm going to click done. Now watch it. Is this the one? No, that's the old one. Done. It's the, which one did I just do? Oh, here, the basket. I should put that right on the bike, right? Okay, there. All right. So here, again, I click on the immersive reader. And I hit play. Click on http colon slash slash www.susanger.com. And then I can click on it. Http colon slash. I should be able to click on it. Hold on. I think I have to go back to the. Should be able to click on that. Let me go back. Yeah, right here. See my, I got the hand. So it's actually a button that's clickable and it will take you to the website. So that's pretty cool too. So do we want to go over that again?
Okay. So if you want to take out your image, we can play around and you can try it yourself. So go to your image and click on add tag, everybody. And click on text and media this time, text and media. And then you can change your icon to whatever you like. You can play around. Yeah, would. Type in your title and your description. So is it Elena? Why Zyman? I think it's you. Your name is Elena. Um, so yes. Okay. So I have done this with a low beginning class and I, I was on Zoom with them. Not the bike safety. I did one on something else with the numbers one, two, three, four, five. So we go through the whole process first in Zoom. And then I assign them the same activity at home and they, they have no problem. Oh, that's a good question. Thank you, Evelyn. As soon as we finish this, I will show you that answer. Okay, so here I need help. Call Melinda. I'm going to put in uh, M Holt at Rotan.us. Okay, so I hit so I, I hit the done button, and where did I? I can't remember what icon I use now. Here, the question mark. So we'll put that over here. And then when you click on this, it will, you go to the immersive reader and you can hear it. I need help. Call Melinda. And then here is a link that will open up, I hope. Oh, it takes you to OTAN. I, I think you have to do, I don't know, email's a little bit different. You have to go mail to whatever, but anyhow, it brings you to OTAN and a picture of Melinda. <laughs> Yeah, and I will show you um, some of the units I've done and also somebody else asked, oh, how to share. So let me show you that. And I need to put that on the, uh, okay, so let me go back. I have so many here. I'm gonna show you some of the ones that I've made. And um, so where's my folder? So here's my low beginning class. These are, the, I've done all of these with low beginning. And here is my one on wearing masks. So once again, this one has one, two, three, four, five. And then here is the reading because in this one I have, where the, this is my content, but here I have a video. I always have a video. And then number two is a Quizlet. Number three is a, a Google. This is Google Slides that I've embedded. This is actually YouTube. I made a video of this. Number four is a video. Number five, I can't remember. This is their um, their assignment. And they they in order to get, they had to fill in this form and then they would get a certificate. It had a lot of vocabulary. It was very hard. And then the reading was here. And this is a Google Slides that I embedded. Um, they're all public, but I have to share the, I think I share the link with you. And I think you can search for me on ThingLink. And um, we have to go over the explore part. But here, um, let me see if I can find, let me go back one screen. And let's go to the search button. And let's put my name in and see what happens. Nothing happens. Oh, yeah, here they go. So you should be able, here's the way to invite. So if you want to invite somebody. Oh, let me, th that's not the way, sorry. I want to show you search and then there's these filters so you can look for images, you can look for just videos. 
you can look for 360 images and you can look for 360 videos. If you go here at image and you type in um, COVID, let's say, I'm sure there's something in there. Oh, it's only looking for my content. That's not good. I have to go through collections here. Collections, these are all, oh, these are my collections though. These are the 360 library. I'm not seeing where you can explore. I think I have to go back another screen. So we'll go to the, I don't want my content. I'll go to the help center and search how to find other, other thing links. How to explore. Hmm. Seems like they changed it. Uh, share. Let's see what comes up. Yeah, it seems like they've changed it, so it's not as easy to share to explore other people's stuff anymore. Let me sign in again and see what happens when I sign in fresh. This is my troubleshooting mode. So yeah, let's see if it doesn't seem to. It used to be an explore button on here, but I don't see it anymore. So I think they've changed it, but they have, and these are my collections. I want to get out of my stuff. I don't know how to do it right now. Um, sorry. They only let you now look at the 360 library. So if I make a thing link, users, my content, used to be able to, to share, but I don't think you can anymore. So I can go here and I can manage access of my account. And I can give people who are in my account. But how do I share it with you? OK, let me just do this. They have changed the interface very recently, as usual. So if I want to share this, share link, publish to social. So what, I, what I've done with the students is you can share this link. So this is the link for the beginning low mask one. Um, unfortunately, it looks like you can't really find any other thing links anymore. And when you get my thing link, you're going to want to clone it, duplicate it, because you don't want to use mine because it has all my stuff in it. I'm looking to see if I if they have an explorer in here. Yeah, see, they don't. So I guess they have changed it because maybe people are not wanting to share. Um, so the only thing you can explore now is this asset library, which are 360 images which only work really if you have a, um, a Google Cardboard. Oh, it's kind of cool. So this is a 360 image. And you can clone this like this if you hit the clone button. And then it's in your account and you can tag it. So, um, yeah, Christina, if it's too small in Canvas when you embed, because you've embedded into ThingLink and then you're embedding ThingLink into Canvas. So that would make the thing, the, the then just use the link feature. Yeah. So um, did you want to try doing some audio in your bike thing? Oh, can you please go over how to save the picture from Google Docs to your computer? Yes. So here's my Google Doc. Here are my three pictures that I saved. There's more that I don't know what that is. But um, this one, this one, and where's the other one with the bike? Here, this one. This one's really good for low beginning because you could actually put all the pieces of the bike on there and do a vocabulary lesson. So you cl right click on it and you click save to keep. Anna, save to keep. 
And then here, you're going to click on it, right click on it, just like you do an image, and save image as. And then you're going to give it a name. And you're going to make sure you save it to your desktop if you want to find it easily. Um, if you don't want to find it easily, you can save it somewhere else. But I always save to my desktop, which is why my desktop is so messy. And then click Save. And it goes right to your desktop. OK, so should we do audio bio? So I can show you how to do that with ThingLink. OK, so we're back to our picture. We're going to add a tag. But first, we're going to have to make the audio. Um, so we have to make the audio first. So let's do that. I'm going to find my audio player. I'm looking if I have. I may not have any audio player because recently my computer crashed. But I will find an audio on the YouTube free audio. Did you know that YouTube has a free audio library where the music is all copyright free? I think it's this one. Yes. So all of this audio here, and you can search by genre, search. So you can search for a genre. So let's say we're going to get something ambient, right? Apply. And these are all, and then I can play it. What's really cool about this is it's all Creative Commons, so all this audio is free for you to use. Um, I always give credit, but you don't have to, theoretically. So it, it probably, this is the thing with this, it probably went to my downloads folder, which is hard to find. But there it is. Okay, so I have my music downloaded. So now I'm going to go to my thing link and I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to put the music here under settings. I'm going to upload audio. And I'm going to go to my download folder. And this is not showing up. How come? Oh, here it is. It's way down there. Open. You see it's uploading, so it's going to take a second. Take a few minutes. Okay, now it's uploaded. So the, the music track is down here. The students can start it or stop it, and it will play as they work on the image, which is kind of nice if your students want to have relaxing music. If they don't, they can just stop it because there's a little button down here. So did everybody want me to go through that again, how I did that? Oh, the, the, let me put that link for you. You have to have a YouTube account. But that's the link. And that will take you to the free music. So do we have any questions? Let's go back to the PowerPoint.
Okay. So these are the different, uh, we went through all of this. This is all about how to do the icons, to change the icon, choose an icon, choose a color, upload on your own. That's all there for you. Um, go back, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Having PowerPoint misery right now. All right, let's just go through this one more time to see you can see what's on there. So we took the image, we got an account, we learned all this stuff. We we learned we didn't do all of this, we did images, but you can play around with all this stuff and you can actually do an entire presentation in ThingLink. I have not done it yet, so that's why I didn't share that with you. Um, then there's my resource folder. This is what we did. We added, here's the pencil to add a tag. Here are the different types of tags that you can add with description. Here's how to add a tag. And here is how to explore the 360 image library, which I showed you is the only thing you can now explore. So th this is what we did today, how to log on, how to explore, how to create a thing link with Google Form, Google Doc, and Quizlet. The one thing that's not in the PowerPoint that I will add is how to do the embed codes for you. And now I have a home and how to explore the library. Now I have a homework assignment. You have been taken through this, and if you really want to learn this, you need to do a thing link yourself. And I will want to say that it requires you to think about what you want to present to your students first. So I usually create a storyboard, like I want to do this lesson on bike safety. So I'm going to have, I want to have uh, an image of that's good for the students. I want to have a video that's at their level. I want to have, and you can slow down the video and embed it that way. I want to have a Google Doc so that they can reflect from the video. I want to have a reading. I want to have maybe an audio. Sometimes I do audio readings. I use Google Slides and I make audio for the whole slideshow. And I want to have a final assessment to make sure that they learn the material that I want them to learn. So I write down all the tools that I'm going to use. And oh, for vocabulary, usually I use Quizlet. So I make a list of all the tools. I make all the files first. So I make my, I find my video. I find my, I make my Google form. I make my Quizlet. I make my reading or I find my reading online, whatever you're gonna do. And I, I make my assessment. So all of the pieces for the thing link are done before you start. And then you have to find a nice image that is copyright free. Um, that you can use. So then you put the you upload the image into ThingLink. You have all of your your activities ready, and you find the embed code or you link it and you put it on the image. So I want you to do that and have at least two tags. But um, it'd be nice if you could think you know think out a lesson that you want to do, and create that for the students. So I really want you to make one for your class and to send me the link and I'll take a look at it and give you some feedback. And um, that's your homework. Any questions? No questions? Susan? Yes. They get some Kickapoo Joy Juice if they do the homework. They get more. They more, get uh, an extra more. hour on their certificates. So you're all going to get a certificate for attending. And <laughs> Google just came on my phone to explain what Kickapoo Joy Juice was. Sorry for that. Uh, so anyway, you're going to get an extra hour on your certificate if you complete the homework. So yes, and I have two questions. One is my email is right here, sgarrettotan.us. And the PowerPoint, which doesn't have anything about the embed code yet, remember that. Um, the PowerPoint is available for you. Let's go to the first one right here. Oh man. Why does it go to do that? All right. Is there a way to just present this slide? No. Play from beginning, rehearse with coach, or present live. 
Well, here it is. I'll put it in the, the PowerPoint is available right here. I'm going to put it in the chat box. But remember, if you download it right now, it's not going to have the embed code. If you wait until tomorrow, it will have the embed code information on there. So yes, there's the PowerPoint and my email is easy now that we have OTAN. That's Gare at OTAN.us. So let me ask you, do you feel like um, you guys can do this? Do you feel like I've presented you with the information you need to be able to do this? Yes or no? Type in the chat box. Right. Denise says yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Yes, definitely. Very good. Very good. Very good. 